Hello fashion sewers and welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to be talking about pressing fashion fabrics. Let's start with the iron. Make sure you invest in a good quality steam iron and make sure it's of a heavy weight and then ideally you would want a fabric selector. The next thing every fashion sewer needs for their sewing projects is a pressing cloth. This is silk organza, which is beautiful, and it's 100% silk. The next, if you can't invest in the silk organza, the next best option would be to get a 100% cotton loosely woven. And the reason why you need your pressing cloths is because you don't want any shine to happen to your fashion fabric whatsoever so the ideal way of preparing your fabric is to cover your fabric with either the silk organza or 100% cotton. When pressing chiffon and silky type fabrics or silky fabrics use your organza pressing cloth place it on top because remember you want to protect your fabric get a steam iron apply your steam and just press gently up and down. That's the motion you need to be using. When pressing knit type fabrics, you can see here there's a roll starting to curl. The best technique for this is to get your pressing cloth and spray your, your cloth with starch. Just leave it for a couple of second, seconds to settle. And then once you've done that, turn it onto the spray side, onto your fabric. Place it into position like so. Just roll out your fabric. And then use your steam iron. When using woolen or cotton type fabrics, place your pressing cloth on top. Using your steam iron, Press your steam and then you use an up and down motion. This is how you press up and down. A couple of tips to remember when you're actually pressing in fashion sewing, it's an up and down motion rather than a gliding motion. And always use a pressing cloth when you're preparing your fabric before you cut and also during construction. Don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials. And if you have any comments or queries, please put me in a comment box below and I will see you next time.